Hey everyone, welcome back to Ears First. We're here at the Holiday Inn Resort in Orlando, just outside of Disney World, where I um, kind of made a last minute trip and there were no rooms available, being spring break and all. So this is the Holiday Inn Resort on State Route 535. The prices are a lot better than what you expect. Uh, just want to give you a quick walk around. This is a room right off the lobby where they're showing movies all the time. Right now they got Ratatouille on there. It looks like later on they're going to be playing Emperor's New Groove. There's Alex. Here's the lobby area. Going around, they got a nice arcade that Alex wants to go to. And they got their marketplace. And this is also a conference center, so if you're doing a conference down there, you might be staying here. There's, a, there's one of the rooms there. And we're going to take a walk in, out and see the pool. Now, we got here yesterday, so I'll show you our room next, but I'll we'll wait till housekeeping sees that before you do. <laughs> we kind of unpacked all over the place. And then went to bed. So, yeah. So here's the pool area. We're actually staying. Uh, the pool area has pool tables. You can see right there. Yeah. Applebee's Tiki Bar. And speaking of which, we actually just had breakfast at Applebee's. They do a breakfast buffet there that is surprisingly good. Biscuits and gravy, bacon. If you're staying at the hotel and you have a child under 10 years and under, well, 12 and under. 12 and under. Um, if you're ordering off the menu, it's a free meal for the kid if you're paying. With the buffet, it works out. It's $2.99 for the kid's buffet. Yeah, so it's it just basically you got um, kids eat free with the purchase of an adult menu. But here's the pool area. You got a large chess set and checkers board over there. See that there? Okay. Got the little kids area spraying down. Got the pool. Looks like it's three feet and almost six feet in the deep end. It's not too shabby. The pool area is really nice though. I like that they have pool tables and everything set up. <clears throat> we're, sta we're staying over in building C. And there's the towers, our towels. Bleh. Um, they have a fitness center right between um, buildings B and C as well. Everything's key part here. Unfortunately, your magic bands will not work. Huh. Well, we got ours. We got annual pass, so we always have our magic bands on, on hand. Uh, this is the elevator area. The ice is downstairs. They don't have it on the different floors. Yeah. But you can see they got a little fitness room over there. Um, all the parkings in the back and around. We got two elevators, but we stayed here last night. So far, everything's pretty cool. Yeah. I'll show you the hallway leading up to the rooms. Nothing fancy. Apparently, if you request it, you can get yourself a newspaper. We didn't get one. All right, so we've already unpacked in our room, but. Give you a brief overview of what it looks like in here. You come in, you got your closet. Got your little safe in there that you set your code to. And iron and ironing board. I like the kitchenette here. Uh, a pretty decent sized refrigerator. You got a microwave with cabinet. Oh, Pamela's going to show it to us. It's fully stocked. Doesn't come that way. Mm -hmm. Um, got your bathroom, got all your stuff on the counter, you know, they can fold everything pretty for you, but just a normal size tub and shower head and everything. Good thing is, a lot of places, for some reason, they don't put something like that in there. I'm happy with that. It is nice. Um, uh, got your hair dryer. And they use the Bath and Body Works soaps and such. Coconut lime for Dana, baby. <laughs> 
Um, and you got your TV, and we're in a king size suite with the fold out bed for him. Um, and you still get the chair. You got two phones in here, but you got your table and an extra coffee table. The you got Alex's new lightsaber that he just got today. Um, stepping on Alex's shoes. Got really, really big windows in here. Uh, not much of a view. We got a view of the back parking lot. Um, let's see, our car is way over there. And lakefront lines. Some kind of charter buses are here. Lots of, lots and lots of teenagers, it looks like. So hopefully they don't disturb us. They're new here tonight. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to be typical for this particular hotel. Um, and you do have your little dinette type table here and your dresser for putting stuff in. But anyways, it's just a quick look at the room. Uh, we showed you the lobby. Look, there's a mirror. Hi, mirror. Hi. Um, I think that's about it for here. I actually am enjoying it. Um, we ate down at the Applebee's this morning. They have the all-you-can-eat buffet, which we told you about, and the food was actually pretty good. It and my sausages. Those were on point. Yes. And as weird as it sounds, and some people are going to disagree with me, but I actually feel that the the food there was better than Chef Mickey's. And I know, it might be sacrilege for some people, but, um, yeah, I actually felt the buffet there was better than the breakfast buffet for Chef Mickey's. Uh, the eggs were much better. They actually tasted more like they were fresh eggs. Um, the bacon was, it came out bulk, but it was nice and crispy. The sausages were great. There was oatmeal, there was grits, uh, bagels. Everything was easy to find. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy, which Alex really loved, and Tabasco sauce. And, uh, they had little muffins and stuff like that. So, the food, the food there was good. Um, with the Applebee's being attached, you still have the same deals that Applebee's get. So if you happen to have a couple Applebee's gift cards laying around or whatever, you can use them there. Um, it's got the normal Applebee's menu, half price apps from the appetizers from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, they do have their little bar down there and everything. So it's it's kind of nice. And around the corner from here is actually one of our favorite restaurants in the Orlando area is BJ's Brew House. Uh, or is it Ale House, Brew House? Anyways, phenomenal pizza. If you're in the area, try it. So if you're looking for a Disney trip and you can't quite afford the Disney resorts, or if it's last minute, uh, like our, that's what happened with us. It's last minute right now when we decided to come. We've been planning it for quite a while, but we didn't know if we were going to be able to make it. So we looked around. This is one of the cheaper ones that we could find in the area. Uh, it's a little further away. There is a... Uh, Lake Buena Vista Holiday Inn right up the road. Uh, Disney Springs. This one is the Lake Buena Vista. Oh, that's right. We're at the Lake Buena Vista. The Disney Springs is right up the road. It's walking distance to Disney Springs. Yeah. And in all honesty, this one, if you wanted to, what, a mile and a half? Yeah, I mean, as long as there's sidewalks, I need to look. I'm pretty sure yeah. the garbage. You probably walk to Disney Springs. You, you from really, here you really could. Too much trouble if you're a walking type of person. Yeah, because uh, it's less. I'd say you're about a half a mile from Interstate, a quarter mile, a quarter mile from Interstate 4. Here? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the Interstate from the front of the hotel. And uh, both of the Holiday Inn hotels that are near Disney property, this one and the Disney Springs one, they're both on State Road 520, 535? We're on 535. 535. Which is also the Kissimmee Vineland Road, I yeah. think. Well, right now where we're at, we're right in between Epcot Center Drive and, um, what was the one on the other? The one that comes Lake off. Lake Buena Vista. Lake Buena, yeah, Lake Buena Vista Drive. So Lake we're right, Vista Drive. yeah, 
we're right in between both of them, so we can actually come from both sides and not have an issue. But yeah, it's it. I would say you're about a mile, mile and a half away from the entrance to Disney Springs. So even if you want to walk it, and from there, I mean, if you're really looking for a walking day, you like to walk. You can walk from here, Disney Springs. You can hop on the shuttles and pop on over to one of the parks, resorts, whatever you want to do. You have full access there. And they do offer the shuttle, the free shuttle service, back and forth to the transportation hub from here. They drop you off for that. And they run, I think the latest pickup is at 11.30 at night. So, you know, summertime, the parks are closing at 2 o'clock. You're kind of stuck there. But if you don't have an annual pass, you're not vacation club, you can't get the free parking, that's a way to look into doing it. So you got the free transportation that way. Um, we've we've actually um, gone as far as to use taxi cabs while we're staying on resort property um, just to get from place to place sometimes. So if, if you're really looking for a place to stay, you want to stay outside Disney, you want to eat elsewhere, uh, like the buffet down there for breakfast, twelve ninety nine for adults, two ninety nine for the kids. But if the kids order off the menu, the regular menu, they eat free. They they give you the vouchers for that. Really nice pool area. Um, we might be able to hit that up before we leave. Uh, try it out. So, yeah, I I definitely recommend if if staying on property is phenomenal, but. If you're looking to save some money, especially when it comes to food, we're only eating one meal on property per day. And if we wanted to, we can change that up. We can come back here. We can eat at the Applebee's if we wanted to. Um, but why would you when you got BJ's up the road? The Lone Star's right outside the door. Uh, so if you want a steak, go right next door. They got a Lone Star. Um, and right up the road from here as well is a huge shopping center. They've got everything. Um, and for those of you who like the traveling food, there's a Waffle House right at the entrance to this place, but they've got restaurants galore over there. I can't remember what all they have. Some of them are, look like they're local, others are more than that, so. But something to look into, you got the, uh, this one, the Holiday in Lake Buena Vista, and you got the other Disney Springs over there right next to the Hilton and the Marriott and a whole other one, so. And, you know, maybe next time we'll check out those hotels and let you know how they are. Uh, let us know down below what you think. Like, like, subscribe, share, comments. Uh, you know, again, thanks for watching Years First.